What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. We just drove over the dam and we're heading to Bugby Creek. I have not been down here in a long time. I'm a little worried about the water level because it has dropped here lately. So hopefully there's still water. Of course there's still water, but uh, it just may be very shallow, but we will see. But I've been fishing a lot this past week and I have been getting skunked a lot this past week. Every single time I've gone fishing, I've gotten skunked. I even took a trip down to New Mexico and got skunked, which really sucked, but it was still a cool trip. I may show that footage in this video here. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, we're heading down to Bugby Creek. Hopefully we can catch some fish. I got worms, which I've never used worms down here before, so that's going to be new. I also got some crankbaits and some spinnerbaits, and we'll go for some walleye and some bass. Hopefully we can catch a fish. I have not caught a fish in a week, and it sucks, man. It's horrible, but uh, let's go check this place out. Man, this place is looking real sad. All these trees were underwater. Man, it's horrible. I'm hearing some big fish jump out there though. It's probably some big old catfish. I need to get the John boat out here and do some catfishing out here. But I see a spot I like right here, so I'm gonna fish right here. I'll probably work my way down this way and just test it out and see what we can do. Well, I guess all that talk about worms was for nothing because I guess I forgot them at the house. Are you serious? Man, I was so excited about that too. Ah, oh, it sucks. Well, I guess we're sticking to crankbaits and spinnerbaits today. Dang it. What should we go with? We'll go with the square bill. I actually think I found this lure in this creek. So, might as well go with it, right? Man, I'm really bummed about those worms. I was really looking forward to it. Sucks. It's a little too tight. All right, guys, like I said, I just took a trip to New Mexico. I did not catch any fish, but I guess I will show you all the footage from that right here. Today we have a two and a half hour drive to Clovis, New Mexico. I have a friend up there I'm gonna meet with and then we're gonna go do some fishing. There's a little lake up there with some trout and bass, which is the perfect combo for me. So I'm pretty excited about that. But let's uh, hit the road, drive two and a half hours and get to New Mexico. Once I get there, I'm gonna have to go get a New Mexico fishing license and I may stay for like one or two days. I'm not really sure. I brought enough clothes to stay for three days and enough battery power. So uh, fun little trip, but let's head to New Mexico. Nice car, dude. Our New Mexico fishing license and now we can go fish there are two different lakes here that I've seen so far that we're gonna go hit up one is a trout lake and a bass lake which is gonna we're gonna go hit up first and the second one I saw a catfish sign but not really sure what's in it we'll find out what's up ducks I have never caught a New Mexico fish before no. this will be my first one I'm gonna learn today, gonna learn today. <laughs> I never used these before but we're gonna try them out Trout nuggets. First New Mexico cast. Okay. Man, I hope we catch something. 
Let's see if I can drive this in the ground. Oh yeah. I only have one though, so. <laughs> They're not digging the bait I threw out. I'll try something else. That one has corn. Let's see. Well, New Mexico fishing was a bust. I did not catch anything, but now I'm back in Texas. I'm in Amarillo at Medi Park, about to go do some nighttime catfishing. I stopped over there in the corner of the lake and talked to a guy who was fishing, and the lake was starting to freeze over. He said that it just started to happen like an hour ago when the sun went down. It is 9.18 at night, and uh, about to go do some night fishing. I was going to car camp tonight and fish in the morning, which I'm still going to, but I figured I might as well try right now because no one is out here because it is way too cold. Well, there's one guy out here fishing, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go try to do some night fishing. Hopefully catch some catfish. I'm going to try to throw on some trout bait and see what I can do at night. I'm not really sure if trout bite at night, but I guess you never really know. So let's go fishing. The other day I started to buy some stuff for my car camper and I got this bright light right here. I haven't got to use it at night just yet, but let's go ahead and turn it on and see how bright she is. Boom! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bright. Let's see if I can show you show you all this. It's real slim. I got it at Walmart. It was like 29 bucks, I think. 20 bucks. I'm not really sure. But it's rechargeable. I can fish at night and recharge this in my car with a solar panel and be ready to use it again. The next night so that is why i got this light for nighttime fishing and what perfect timing because we're doing some nighttime fishing unplanned nighttime fishing but yeah i'm pretty stoked with this light it's really bright we got lights for days it's almost like i was prepared for this we'll fish for about an hour but i'm gonna go try to find a 24 hour walmart and go pick up a mr buddy heater and then we will come back out here and try again so my phone was an hour behind because i was in new mexico which is an hour behind when i came back to texas it never switched over so i thought it was an hour behind well it's actually 10 19 not 9 19 like i thought so i thought walmart's were all closed because the one in my town closes at 10. But I googled and Amarillo just so happens to close at 11. So I have about 40 minutes to get to a Walmart and go get a Mr. Heater or Mr. Buddy or whatever it's called. I'm not even sure. But uh, <laughs> so I'm rushing to Walmart right now. We'll see if they're open. Keeping my fingers crossed. I got pretty lucky that they close at 11 and not 10. We still got cars in the parking lot. So that is a good sign. Now we just have to hope that they have the heaters I want. Alright, we're in Walmart. Man, it's freaking bright in here. Ooh, fishing stuff. I'm getting distracted. Actually, you know what? I do need some rod holders. Where are they at? They don't have the rod holders I want. Oh, yes, they do right here. Score. We'll get a few because I broke them. Yes, we got rod holders. Heater, 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 heater. No heater. We're on a mission. Oh no, is that them right there? No, they're out. Holy crap, they're out. People must be buying all the heaters. So I'm gonna go check in the heater section. <sighs> they're out over here as well. I'm so pissed. I almost bought one yesterday. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'll wait. Man, I should have bought it. It is probably not enough time to run to a different Walmart. But I'm gonna try. What do I have to lose? Just got the warning. They're closing in 30 minutes. I gotta be quick. Let's see. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing in this video. I haven't caught any fish today at all. Now that I'm running around, I'm not really that cold, but uh, 
it'll probably get cold again later on so i still want to get one 15 minutes left the walmart is right here i just hope they let me in this close to closing holy crap we got in yes we got him okay i think i'm gonna go with the bigger one people think this is smaller but this one is still pretty freaking big so we're gonna go with this one all right we got the heater now we just need some propane we did it yes all right mission success we got a heater but now i'm hot like running around <sighs> warm me up i'm not even cold anymore so now i'm about to go fishing maybe it's 11 o'clock i am pretty freaking tired from driving all day today <sighs> what should we do i'm gonna head back to the lake and see how i feel well it is 11 30 i went and got a soft taco from taco bell i ate it and now i'm super tired once again so no more fishing tonight but i will car camp tonight wake up in the morning and get back to some cat fishing and hopefully trout fishing i'm ready to catch a trout at magic park god dang it i've tried four or five times now got skunked every time so hopefully tomorrow is the day but i will see you guys tomorrow i got no blanket uh, I've sat in the car and ate and got pretty warm. I did pick up a little camping pillow though. This was like five bucks at Academy. I did not bring a blanket or a pillow on this trip because I did not expect to be car camping. But hey, this is the beauty of having your car set up as a camper. You can do it whenever you want. My car just isn't set up yet, but it will be there very soon. I'm making it work, but I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so it is 3.40 in the morning, and I woke up absolutely freezing. Probably the coldest I've ever been. Car camping. Oh, not having the blanket changes everything. <laughs> but having the heater also changes everything. I woke up, and I had to bust this thing out real quick. Man, I was so cold, I did not even want to move. But I was like, just do it. Get the heater out. And then you will be warm. And now I am warm. <sighs> you know, this thing's a lifesaver. I was freezing. I do have the windows cracked, all four. Just because I don't have my carbon monoxide uh, alarm yet. It's coming in the mail via Amazon. But this heater is indoor safe, so... All that running around earlier definitely paid off. And I'm glad I found one because I could not <laughs> survive without it. So from now on, not only do I need to keep the mattress in the car, but I need to keep the blankets in the car as well. Always be prepared. Man, this smoking hot burrito in the morning right after that cold night, pretty amazing. But I slept like a freaking baby once I turned that heater on. That thing was amazing. So I've been trying to get my car ready for car camping and I took a little trip just to kind of see what I wanted or needed. So that's kind of why I went on this trip to do car camping and also to see what I need. I was fishing at night and it was like 34 degrees and uh, it got pretty cold. So I decided to go to Walmart and try to find a heater for the car guys that freaking mr buddy heater saved my life i'm not even kidding it was so cold it was 32 degrees i woke up freezing my butt off but for real i could not have stayed out there that night if i did not have that heater so luckily i got the heater and i will have it for future trips as well so i can go out it's about to be winter it's actually supposed to be snowing right now and yesterday but luckily we got some warm weather i'm in short sleeves right now it's supposed to be snowing it's warm so very lucky about that but when it does get cold i will have the heater to use in the car and i don't have to worry about freezing my butt off so that's a good thing about having that heater i did wake up in the morning and i did some fishing but uh once again got skunked no bites no fish whatsoever so I decided to go home and call it a day. 
it really sucks when you don't catch any fish especially whenever you travel a few hours to get to a spot and normally i would have stayed there and car camped but i just wasn't really feeling the lakes there that's my fault bad research on the lakes but also i went there to see a friend so it wasn't just a fishing trip so for sure from now on i will research the lakes and make sure they are what i want them to be before i head out there but guys i hope y'all are catching way more fish than i'm catching wherever y'all are here in texas it's just been dry for me even in new mexico it's been dry for me but i'm not gonna give up i'm still gonna come out here and do some fishing i actually got some really big news coming up soon but i'm gonna wait until that gets finalized before i share it with you guys but i'm very excited about that it's going to be awesome a lot of new content to come with that but i hope you all enjoyed the video sorry i haven't caught much fish lately but hey that's fishing right can't always catch them but don't forget to like and subscribe more videos coming soon i will catch you in those videos peace